Hello, everyone. Welcome as you join us on this uh, groundbreaking event organized by uh, Global Leadership Academy Africa Zone. We like to thank you all who are joining us. Reliable partners, distinguished speakers, and uh, panelists, dear global leaders. Most of you must have already read his parkour, so I save you the trouble of repetition. You know, one doesn't need to be acquainted to any person for too long to tell what manner of man he or she is. Uh, when in September 2020, Fabrice Muchiga set out on his mandate as Black Africa ambassador, he immediately outlined his vision that of building a collaborative network of relevance and seven leaders in Africa and the global with GLAC. The zeal has been made manifest in the planning, mobilization, and organization of the RAC. Indeed, a demonstration of a results-oriented change maker. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted, very delighted, to introduce to you a seventh leader and transformation agent, GLAC Africa's ambassador, Fabrice Mushiga, for his opening word. Kindly salute the resoluteness of this Africanist with a round of applause. Mr. Ambassador, you have the floor. Yeah, uh, th thank you. Thank you so much, Becky, for being so kind and for that gracious introduction. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My introduction actually will be pretty short and uh, you know, it's really a great honor to be having you today. My name is Fabrice Muchiga and I'm from the DR Congo. Currently, as mentioned by our own leader, Becky, serving as GLAC ambassador. And in this context of growing uncertainty, especially this COVID time, which has been marked by the growing of insecurity, human insecurity, human trafficking, democratic violence, and we have most of the time, the elections period being the time, not for democratic exercise, but more for violence, for more divisions. Yes, it's not strong only in Africa. We have so many more challenges, including the challenge and the crisis of migration, the unbearable violence over migration within the continent and even to Europe. You know, we have an issue which has been also forgotten, the issue of human trafficking, which has been growing a lot on the continent. But here is the question that we're still having. Will you remain silent? Will you stop acting or will you see the house burning and remain silent? We've, the fellow GLAC members, We've been really asking ourselves those questions around how might we best collaborate to tackle the emerging threats to human security, to peace on the continent. And sometimes we, we've been skeptical, and I believe some of you may also wonder, how can this be possible? How can we act as a continent? How can people who do not know each other can collaborate? And it is true, it is difficult. But is it impossible for us? It is true. One wise man was saying one time, you know, there's no one who can do everything, but everyone can do at least something. And this is an opportunity where we really wanted to call you to have a time for dialogue, to have a time to think and think what is the smallest action that we can take. So over the two days that we'll have here, it will be really a time for engagement, a time for thinking of what you can do basically from your, your own perspective in your country, from where you are, what are the simple actions that you can implement in your country? You know, what kind of solutions you can contribute to? You know, and as the GLAC Africa and the partners that have been committed to this mobilization, we are very much eager to see how much we can accomplish together. And this is only a beginning. 
This is a beginning and we expect that together we can achieve much more, you know, and we believe that when a group of people commit to look into a same direction, there is a lot that we can achieve. So I want to really end this introduction by welcoming you and, uh, and uh, sharing with you very quickly what will be the, the next steps for, for this uh, convening. So for the next step, today we are meeting to introduce the concept and find out what are the ideas that will emerge? What are the ideas that you think could be implemented and how best can we collaborate? And we do have also questions. We do have questions on how best to, to engage you, how best to collaborate with you as GLAC and how best to partner on the continent. And I want to emphasize on one thing, this is not only for Africans. This is an initiative for any person who really is an actor of peace and who is sensitive about the issue violence democratic integrity but most importantly the issue of migration and human trafficking so will you add your voice your voice can make a lot of difference so i want to thank as well here all of you for making time to be here with us today so many people have really registered we have over 700 among you who registered and wanted to be here with us uh, and uh, we hope that we'll keep the engagement. Today, you'll have time to speak with uh, great leaders and panelists on the issue of uh, democratic violence and human security. And then we'll talk about the demographic dividend. You'll watch a good video and engage through chat. And tomorrow, we'll be pleased to have a great discussion with you on migration and human trafficking with great experts on the field. But it's not only about talking. We want your ideas. And these ideas, we want you to work on them. And we will collaborate in, with you to find best ways to work on these ideas, to support you, because we have a tremendous organization who want to work with you. With this, I want to welcome you and wish you a fruitful Rethinking Africa. Je vous souhaite une meilleure session passer uh, une très bonne convention. Merci, uh, thank you so much and welcome again to the Rethinking Africa Convening.